Welcome to Rock and Rolls. Let's see here. Um, we've done about um, six or seven books in our um, Bike Life book review series. And um, today we are going to cover another um, invaluable book for um, any motorcycle owner. Um, today we're going to talk about the owner's manual. Specifically, we're going to talk about the 2020 Africa 10 CRF 1100. Um, owner's manual. It's a shared owner's manual for the 1100A, the 1100D, which is the DCT, the 1100A4, and the D4. A4 being the um, Adventure Sport manual and the D4 being the Adventure Sport DCT. So, um, as you might recall, last year we did a review on the, um, um, the Helms manual, which was a service manual, and it was a service manual specifically. We used one for the Honda CB500X, and um, that particular year was a 2014, so that was the service manual that I think spanned from 2013 to uh, 2018, maybe. And so, um, I talked a great deal about how you can use a service manual to do work and repairs in your book, and I believe we've also done a review on um, a motorcycle maintenance book as well. Well, we haven't actually done a review on the owner's manual itself. And the owner's manual is a little bit different. The service manuals, they tend to dig a little um, more into the more mechanical aspects of motorcycle um, t maintenance. And um, the owner's manual is, you know, just like a car owner's manual. It's the owner's manual that you're going to use if you're going to, you know, just learn how to use your tool. Now, after this... Um, presentation, we're going to do one on the actual Honda service manual for the Africa Twin. So that's just a preview of what's to come. We're going to focus in on the owner's manual today, and we're going to be really high level with this. I'm going to try to just give you the um, ins and outs of how these owner manuals work, and then we're going to, you know, just progress forward. Um, I want to just take a minute to point out a couple of things to some folks. Um, please ride at Gat. I know you don't have to, but you should. And um, practice. Not just ride it out on the road, but you know, get in the parking lot, get off road a little bit, and just practice in, in the grass and the dirt, practice, practice, practice in the snow. Um, and then most definitely don't drink and ride. If you guys just do those three things, you probably reduce your you know chances of dying on the motorcycle about 80, 90 percent. So um, because especially the drinking and the and the helmet alone from the AGAT um, greatly reduce your chances of um, a mortality type and injury. So having said that, let's get into the, so the owner's manual. So a couple of things to know. A lot of times you're on, you know, you're on social media, you're on the um, riding forums, or you're in, you know, on Instagram, on Facebook or whatever, and you're in the little groups and people start asking questions. Hey, what kind of fuel am I supposed to put in my motorcycle? Uh, hey, what kind of oil are you guys are using? And, you know, what's the maintenance interval? And I'm sitting there going, did you not read the owner's manual? And you start wondering, do people go through life without reading, you know, the, the basic instructions in front of them? I've seen people that go out and spend tons of money on um, off-the-shelf books. They might be spending 50 60 you know, $70 sometimes on a book or more. And um, a lot of the information that they're trying to gather can be found in the owner's manual that came with whatever it was, the product that they purchased. Now, a lot of times, owner's manuals are online. They're not often, you know, hard copies like this anymore. And actually, I do have a, a, um, a soft copy of this that I just Googled and picked it up in a, in a PDF, and I keep that on my phone. So I don't actually have to have this with me when I'm out in the street and the question arises. But, yeah, some of the more simple things that you need to know about riding your bike, you'll find it in the owner's manual. You'll know whether you, need, you can run 87 octane or you should run 89 octane. And, hey, guys, I'm in the U.S., so these are U.S. octane rates. Um, what did I say? 87, 93, whatever. Yeah, and um, the maintenance intervals. Do you change your oil every 3,000 3, miles, 5,000 miles, 10,000 miles, 15 kilometers, you know, 10,000 10, kilometers? And of course, yeah, you or you know, you're going to change it a little more frequently than that most of the time. But it'd still be nice to know for your particular um, motorcycle and the model what the maintenance intervals are. You know, I change my oil twice a year. I don't get as many miles as some folks do. Um, I know some, you know, some folks out there that put in the mileage in that they really, literally need to change the oil once a month. That's I, I wish it was. That's just not me. 
So I typically change my oil in the spring when it warms up right around this time. Well, since I'm riding a brand new 2020 Africa Twin, I'll probably be changing it around 500, 600 miles um, after the quote unquote break in period. We'll talk about that in another video. And um, then I usually change it again in the fall before it gets too cold, just to get it knocked, get it knocked out, get it out the way before you know we get down to freezing temperatures and such. But um, also, if you have questions about the filters you're supposed to be using or how often you change your filters, where the fuse boxes are and what the size fuses are that you need, air pressures, and of course the air pressures provided are you know the, the expected for the OEM tires. You always got to do a little bit more research if you decide to change especially when you go from the street tires to the dirt tires and such. And, you know, are your tires tubeless? Are they um, tubed? Um, air pressures and, um, you know, and just... And the other thing, you know, the controls on the bike. If for an Africa Twin, the controls are a big deal. The instrument panel on this, I'm not going to lie, it's complicated. I've pretty much got it down now after about a week or two of owning the bike. But um, the first day or two, you're just staring at it and, it, and it really does not make a lot of sense. Um, the TFT display provides you with touch access, so a lot of things that you're trying to figure the buttons out, you know, you can just go ahead and touch the screen and manipulate the information on the TFT. The manual tells you how to do it both ways, with the left-hand controls and with the touch screen. And some of the other instruments there, you know, a lot of people don't really understand the riding modes. They don't necessarily understand how to configure the traction control, the ABS, um, the, the, um, the power controls, and then the, the various wheelie controls. You can turn off wheelie control. You can turn ABS completely off in the rear, and you can completely turn off traction control. So, you know, a lot of people, we're gonna, you know, they, they get a little frustrated with the electronics. We're going to do a whole video on electronics. Um, in, in the next week or two, but um, the reality is you can start the bike up. You can leave it in the mode you like, leave it configured the way you like, and start it back up, and it's pretty much going to start up that way. Yeah, you're going to have to go in there and turn, if you want to completely turn off the traction control, the wheelie control, you're going to need to do that, but for a big adventure bike, I'm not really understanding why people would want to do that. The owner's manual does a really good job of going over vehicle safety. It does a really good job of just giving you a good operational operations guide for your vehicle. It also will cover the maintenance. It will give you um, troubleshooting information for the bike. It gives you information on how to use the controls. It will give you specifications. And it's usually, hey folks, I know these you know modern generation might not use these as much as old school like myself do. There's an index in the back of the owner's guide. So please take the time to read your owner's manual, take the time to really learn and become intimate with your bike. And um, little little small things you'll pick up in there, like you know you have a little USB plug, plug on the Africa Twin in the upper right, up on the dash, and did you know there's actually a little groove up under the cover that you can run the cable through so that you can actually keep the cover closed while you have the USB plugged in, keeps it, keeps it clean keeps it from getting wet, and just little tidbits like that you're going to find in the owner's manual. So that's it for this one. Um, we are going to you know, be more consistent in the output uh, for, these, for this book series especially. I think I actually like doing the book reviews more than a lot of the other stuff that I do. We do have a beginner bike series, but I'm not an instructor, so I don't really want to sit there and, and, and give a, a lot of you know, input to folks in terms of how they should or shouldn't ride from a safety perspective. We do have our AtGat bike gear review it's not so much about the safety but we do do some you know review of gear for example we have that cardo review that i did when i installed the cardo on this adventure helmet i have never actually did a review on this ceviche adventure helmet but i need to and then i like biking jackets and you don't hear about them a lot but um i definitely want to do a review on the two or three uh, I got at least three of those Viking motorcycle jackets, and m two of them are mesh, another textile one, and they're awesome. They're great. Um, we, can, we can hit the um, Shad top box. Um, I don't think I've done a review on the, um, you know, my Adventure Boots, my Alpine Stars, and we've got um, some other things, some other little tidbits that just came in in the mail. Uh, Alt Rider rear seat. Um, um, I don't know, what do you call the thing? So, yeah, I'll show you when I get to it. And then also, I'd also like to do 
a nice little review on these speed and strength riding boots, which I use when I'm just riding around locally. So we got a lot of reviews coming up for some equipment. Most of it will be worn and, and I'll be able to give you an experienced review. And then we got some more book reviews coming up. I already told you about the service manual um, review coming up. We just did the owner's manual. I want to do that motorcycle dynamics. And um, I've also got a couple of other um, tuning and suspension books that I'm still reading. But once I can complete the reading on those, we'll go ahead and do those reviews. So, you know, again, thank you for visiting the channel. Click subscribe, click like, click unlike. Um, comment below. Tell me if there's some particular books you got your eye on, you want me to read it and review it, I will do that. And any other type of videos you want to see on the Africa Twin, um, just let me know. Rocket rolls over and out.